Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, um, so I'm super happy about that. And uh, I know I'm a little bit late to this reaction, but I've been in bed for the last two days um, thinking I was dying. And uh, <laughs> I'm still not at 100%, but I'm pretty close, like 80%. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to Purple Kiss. Um, I've reacted to them twice on this channel. I reacted to all of the members' uh, like teaser trailers, and I reacted to their songs from around the country um, thing that they did a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah, they've released their first pre-debut. I don't think it's a music video. I think it's just a performance video. But a lot of people have been messaging me and saying, um, I've been seeing comparisons to Dreamcatcher, which... I thought this group was going to be more similar to like Mamamoo because, uh, you know, the vocal power and everything, but let's not sleep on Dreamcatcher's vocals. They're also one of the best vocalists in K-pop. And, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, they kind of paved the way for a rock genre, a rock style in K-pop. So, uh, there will never be another Dreamcatcher. Let's stop comparing. Um, just because it's rock inspired doesn't automatically mean it's the next Dreamcatcher. Um, because Dreamcatcher is unique. It's just point blank period. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is Purple Kiss. Let's go. Okay, so the name of the song is called My Heart Skip a Beat. Um, and it's a performance video. So let's see Purple Kiss. I'm ready. <laughs> let's go. Okay. She's beautiful. Oh, man. I see what people are meaning. This does hit harder. I don't see my favorite. I don't think Swan is here. Oh. It's so nice hearing actual instruments in K-pop. Actual guitars, actual percussion, not just a computer. I love her rapping. I understand the Dreamcatcher comparisons, though. This is a little bit more pop, though. Not quite as hard. But these girls are definitely very talented. And this song is catchy. Beautiful. They're all so pretty. Oh, she's my favorite, I think. Her vocals blew me away in their... their video. Purple Kiss. Purple Kiss. Okay, now we're going into this trap... bridge. Hey. It's like a drum line, like a rock drum line. Oh, 
Yes! I can see why you guys are excited. Man, that was super catchy. Wow. And that's their pre-debut first single. I've heard that this is just like a concept and that not all of their songs are going to have like a rock edge, which, I mean, that's fine. Groups can have different sounds, but man, that that sound suited them. It sounded very good. It was super catchy. Purple Kiss giving us the vocals, giving us the dancing. I was super impressed with the rapper um because she i don't really know much about her at all um yeah that was purple kiss i'm so glad that i mean i was gonna check this out anyway um but everyone was like no this needs to be the first video you check out when you come back from your sick break although i was still posting videos anyway i hope you enjoyed it um regularly scheduled videos begin again on Monday. I'm going to be doing my EXO reactions. I'm going to be um, my random Wild Wednesday videos, my Throwback Thursday. All of the regular stuff starts again this week. So thanks for bearing with me while I was dying. <laughs> while I thought I was dying, it's actually just a sinus infection. And my jaw's kind of acting up because uh, when you have TMJ, that's... A disease I have and it sucks and especially as a singer it limits your ability to open your jaw all the way so it makes you not a not as good of a singer as you could be so that sucks but uh, it's one of the things as a vocal coach that I can speak to and sorry this is a tangent but when I have students that have jaw problems uh, TMJ lock jaw whatever you want to call it it's a disease um, I can speak to it a little bit better because it's something that I deal with. You can still get a great sound. You just can't open your mouth as much. Um, anyway, no one asked for that. That was Purple Kiss. I hope you enjoyed that reaction. I hope you're enjoying the song. Go stream it. And uh, yeah, they're going to be back with, I think, one more pre-debut release. And then I think they're going to actually debut next year. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know the timeline. I don't know if Swan is going to be there, which is sad because based on the teasers, she was my favorite. I loved her voice so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.